How to Be a MySpace Music Star by Ashley Cleek. Everybody, even if they won't admit it, has at one point in life dreamed of fame. And not just any fame, specifically the idolatry that comes from being a musician. Though I would hanker to guess that less than one third of said dreamers can play an instrument with any skill, the desire to be a musician is still just as real. In the past, becoming a musician required years of practice, tours around the world in miserable conditions, and playing at tiny venues to hardly any listeners. Even then, all the talent and hard work in the world did not guarantee even a modicum of fame. Oh, but technology and the internet have changed all that. MySpace, an online community that lets you meet friends' friends, has all but placed a guitar in each of its members' hands. While initially MySpace was a place to meet people in your area or stay in touch with friends who are continents away, it has morphed into an online city of sorts, filled with all the things a normal city is filled with. MySpace has also become the accepted forum not only for new bands, but also for bands that already have legitimate contracts with record labels. The use is so widespread that often bands no longer hand out self-made EPs or demo tapes. They simply tell all who are interested to go check out their MySpace page. The first thing any 21st century band must do to be the next big thing is to make a MySpace page. But how does one go about it? Making a page is surprisingly easy. It's free and it requires only as much creativity as you wish to put into it. Of course, a band needs a name. This will become their MySpace name, and subsequently URL. For example, a fan of the band Spaceman Bill and the Groovy Gravy would find it by typing www.myspace.com slash Spaceman Bill and the Groovy Gravy into his browser. Most MySpace band pages contain the following. Pictures of the band members, about four songs, and a list of what venues they are playing at in the upcoming months. But there are plenty of bands with endless pages of planned post photos that have not yet even recorded a single track. The most important part is friending other MySpaces. These do not have to be the band's actual friends. In fact, many friends on MySpace you will never ever see. The point of making friends is so that more people will know that your band exists. Whenever you add a new song to your page or cool pictures from the most recent bar mitzvah you played, all your friends will receive emails, filling them in on these new and exciting updates. Soon you will have a growing group of fans waiting for the day when you play their town. Of course, to be a MySpace superstar or a featured artist on the MySpace homepage, you are actually going to need to learn how to play, record a few songs and maybe even make a rough video of your most played single. But all that in due time. As for now, you can have fun just being a burgeoning cyberspace music star. Never will you actually have to tour in your mother's station wagon and realise the hard way that man cannot survive on beer and beanie weenies alone. The musician of today can comfortably sit at his eye banking job and during lunch worry about how many profile views his band has had today.